13 world's most mysterious megaliths. There's all these big rocks everywhere, sometimes in huge groups, and some of them are considered really important. These are megaliths, or large stones that have been placed standing in certain ways as ancient monuments or other structures of great importance. Some give us great insight into ancient cultures, while others are places whose function and purpose remain a mystery to this day. <laughs> Before we get into all that, we'd like to point out a few of our brilliant commenters. Alright, let's see. As I write this, the most recent video we've released is the most unusual borders around the world, which was super interesting to research. So who had what to say? Alright, Jason Starhunter and William Lane coming through as usual, thanks guys. Alright, Dodge878 didn't like the background music, got it, here we go. The Ghostwatch gave us some props. Awesome, thanks a lot Ghostwatch, we're glad you liked it. We hope you continue tuning in, and we at Knowledge Feed wish you all the best. Number 13. The Dolmens of the North Caucasus Dotted throughout the Caucasus Mountains are thousands upon thousands of megaliths and dolmens dating back to at least the second millennium BC. While around 3,000 have been discovered, more are being found, but unfortunately some are at the same time being destroyed. The stones are mostly rectangular, with many cut at 90 degree angles, or curved to form a circle, like this dolmen near the Zane River. Here's one in Maimed Canyon that was formed in a pyramid shape. Much about these structures is unknown. No one's quite sure who built them, or for what purpose. Also, while they're not found in the rest of Europe, they are equal in quality and age to the great megaliths of Europe. No one can explain why this is the case. Number 12. Dromberg Stone Circle Sitting dramatically just east of Glandor in County Cork, Ireland, this stone circle is one of the most visited sites in the country. 17 stones stand closely together, each of which rise 2 meters high. The site was excavated in 1957, during which the cremated remains of an adolescent were discovered wrapped in thick cloth. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the site was active from 1100 to 800 BC. Number 11. Rajay Melhiri. For reasons that we humans today can't explain, Sometime between 3000 and 2700 BC, ancient people constructed this epic megalith monument in present-day Israel, 10 miles east of the coast of the Sea of Galilee. The monument is comprised of over 42,000 basalt rocks arranged in concentric circles, with a 15-foot tall tumulus at its center. Excavations in the area haven't yielded much, which is why experts can't do more than guess its function as it stands now. Its location means that it probably wasn't residential. Most think that it was some sort of ritual center, with some theorizing that it's linked to the cult of the dead. Further adding to its mystery is that no similar structure has ever been discovered in the Far East region. Number 10. Karnak Stones an exceptionally large, dense collection of ancient standing stones sit in the village of Karnak in Brittany, France. Over 3,000 standing stones, hewn from local rock, were created sometime during the Neolithic period. While some stones date as far back as 4500 BC, they were probably erected sometime around 3300 BC, according to experts. As is often the case with these sites, no one knows the purpose of the Karnak stones. Theories often point to their use for astronomical observations. A similar claim has been made as to the function of one of the most well-known megaliths on Earth, Stonehenge. Number 9. Talus of Menorca For years, archaeologists have flocked to the Spanish island of Menorca, which lies in the Mediterranean Sea. They're all attracted to this remarkable group of megaliths, 35 to be exact that are scattered throughout the land. The Talayotic people that created these structures, which are similar in appearance to Gobekli Tepe, the world's oldest temple, never recorded their exact purpose. Thousands of years later, experts are still grappling with the reason why the Talus of Menorca exists. Though, of course, several theories have been thrown out there. One is that it's a giant monument to an unknown bull god. Another is that they were built to align with the Centaurus constellation, a cluster of stars that aren't visible in Menorca today, but were prominent in the night sky when the structures were created. Number eight. Rollright Stones Made of three monuments that date to the Bronze and Neolithic Age, the Rollright Stones sit near the modern-day village of Long Compton in the United Kingdom. The first to be constructed was the Whispering Knights, this dolmen that dates back to the 4th millennium BC. Then came the King's Men, this stone circle built in the early Bronze Age. The last, the King's Stone, is a single monolith that was likely built as a Bronze Age grave marker. Collectively, the site shows that there is a continuous tradition of ritual behavior on sacred ground during this time period. Number 7. Baalbek. This city in Lebanon made headlines at the end of 2014 when the largest stone ever carved by human hands was uncovered. Reports, including one from Smithsonian.com, detailed the giant block, which was found by a group of German and Lebanese archaeologists, dating over 2,000 
thousand years, the stone was likely cut to be used in a temple, but the ancient people probably found that it was too big to move. Not surprising as it's 20 feet wide, at least 18 feet high, and weighs an estimated 1,650 tons. The stone of the pregnant woman is also on the site and weighs an estimated 1,000 tons. Number six, Ale's Stone. A fact that's obvious from an aerial view of Ale's Stone in southern Sweden is that it was built in the image of a ship, which was part of early burial customs amongst the people in the area. Each end stone is significantly bigger than the other 57 boulders. Carbon dating suggests that the site was built around 1400 years ago towards the end of the Iron Age. During excavations in 1989, human bones were found buried inside a decorated clay pot. Number five, Giant's Grave Sardinia. Found throughout Sardinia, Giant's Grave refers to a number of tombs built during the Bronze Age by a little known civilization called the Neurogic. Over 800 have been discovered throughout the large island. Today, the graves sit in different states of spectacular. This giant's grave in Urzale, for instance, is kind of boring, while the giant's grave of Pascaretta is remarkable and a great site to visit. Number 4. Beltany Stone Circle 64 stones make up this circle found in County Donegal, Ireland. They date from around 1000 BC, though a stone head was found carved sometime around the year zero, indicating centuries of human use at the ancient site. A single tall stone stands at the southeast part of the circle that seems to have had some sort of significance pertaining to whatever ceremonies were conducted within the circle. Number three, Rudston Monolith. Standing nearly 26 feet high, the Rudston Monolith, situated in a churchyard in the East Riding of Yorkshire, is the tallest megalith in the United Kingdom. However, it does appear that the top is broken off of the stone. Had it retained its pointed top, the stone would probably stand around 28 feet tall. Number two. Number two, deer stones. Throughout Siberia and Mongolia are a group of stones that are distinguishable by their carved depictions of flying deer. They vary in height from 3 to 15 feet tall and are made of either granite or greenstone, depending on which material is most common in the area where it was erected. They date to the Bronze Age around 1000 BC, and over 900 total have been found. Several theories have been presented as to the original purpose of the stones, and while later cultures often reused the stones in their own burial mounds, what the deer stones were initially used for remains unknown. So now that you know about some of these amazing stone structures and where to find them, what's stopping you from visiting? Oh uh, yeah, probably the same thing that's stopping us. Money, time, life. That's okay. And hey, that's why we're here making these videos for you. Appreciate us? Then go ahead and click that subscribe button. After, of course, you're done learning about our most positively shocking and fascinating megalith. Thanks as always for watching. Number one, Callanish Stones. This circle of standing stones lies near the village of Callanish in Scotland. The site is comprised of 13 stones that are situated around a monolith. They were built in the late Neolithic era, around 5,000 years ago, and would be used heavily in the following Bronze Age. What they were used for isn't definitively known, but many Many feel it was some sort of ancient astronomical observatory. The central monolith stands nearly 5 meters high and is nearly perfectly oriented to the north and south.